Good morning, CCAT. I'm Nicole Placencia, and here's your CCAT news around the depot for this week. It's no secret that CCAT is ramping up their OH-58 Kiowa Warrior program, so much so that we anticipate selling one every four days by FY16. Marco Garcia is in charge of the program here at CCAT, and we caught up with him to get the latest. Uh, the CASET program is a new program that the depot just got awarded. Um, the CASET program will go live here in FY15. What that does is it generates an additional FY15-27 aircraft, an FY16-48 aircraft, and FY17-68 aircraft. It stands for Cockpit and Sensor Upgrade Program. Well, it's important to the depot because of the amount of work we're getting, but we're going to be the only man manufacturer within the United States actually doing this workload. What we're doing is we're taking the nose off the aircraft, we're modding a new nose to it. The OH-58 has what's called a mass mounted sight that goes on top. That gets put down and it gets put down to the bottom of the aircraft on the nose fixture. And then the whole top deck's revamped to create that new um, that line of manufacturing. Well, right now we have an IPT team set in place. The IPT team is checking everything from engineering. We're looking at space, manpower. We do know that we're going to need additional space. Our manpower requirements puts us up to 200 additional personnel. Now how we get those personnel, there's many options. We could move personnel within the depot or we could do additional hires for that. So that's definitely manpower and work that will happen. Thank you, Marco, for telling us about the program. And we definitely look forward to hearing more updates as CCAT heads towards becoming certified as a manufacturing plant for the CASUP program. The Alcohol Substance Abuse Program office here at CCAT is working on a new pilot project. The pilot is aimed at reducing the total process time for drug testing employees. And we spoke with the duo responsible for putting the pilot project together, and here's what they had to say. What we found was when, we're, when we have employees coming over here for drug testing, we were losing a lot of production time in that travel time and also in our efforts to contact employees. They're really hard to, to get in touch with and to find supervisors to tell the employees to report for drug testing. So as part of our Black Belt project, we've, we've evaluated, we've collected data, we've evaluated the data, and now we're working to develop some pilot projects. And our first two pilot projects are going to be addressing those those two issues that I just mentioned to you. The first is going to be uh, getting in touch with supervisors. So what we do now is we call supervisors and we spend many hours a day just trying to get in touch with supervisors. Call, 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 call. So what we're going to do is we're going to do away with our calling process. First thing that we're going to be doing is uh, getting in touch with supervisors via email instead of calling them. We'll be sending out an email uh, for and notifying a supervisor that they have an employee that's been selected for random drug testing. That supervisor will then be required to contact us by a certain time. If we don't hear from that supervisor by a certain time, we'll go to the next level of supervision and say, we haven't heard from the supervisor, give us a call so we can set up the appointment. That's first pilot project. Second pilot project uh, is actually traveling out to the work centers uh, to do the drug testing in the work center areas. So instead of having employees come to us, we'll be traveling to the work center with our team, with all of our equipment, and doing drug testing in those areas. That's going to cut down the travel time of production employees coming over here. My role is a black belt candidate and I was trained in the use of the DMAIC process, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. I was introduced to Dennis probably late summer about a potential project within the ASAP office. We uh, took some time and defined, clearly defined what Dennis was trying to improve on and the team agreed that that was the a problem that we needed to work on. We looked at the data closely and finally we came up with some potential problems that we saw that we could probably improve on. And as Dennis mentioned, we are going to pilot the email system, see how that works. We are in the electronic age, so we should put that to work in our favor. And then it will follow that up with a pilot program, as he mentioned, it's as far as taking the testing to, to the field, if you will, taking it to the employees. Like Dennis said, the ultimate goal here is to avoid disrupting production time. Thanks again for your time, gentlemen. Last week we spoke with a program coordinator for veteran peer counseling and there was some confusion about the number of veterans we employ. In fact, more than 50% of CCAT's workforce are veterans and able to use the counseling services provided uh, up on the screen here, you see. 
CCATS are welcoming a new face to the team, a face that will represent us up at our AMCOM headquarters in Huntsville, Alabama. We caught up with our new liaison, Ed Jordan, during his visit to the Coastal Bend to find out a little bit about what exactly he'll be doing for us. Uh, I've, I've come on board to be the CCAD liaison officer and I'll be uh, up in Am, uh, AMCOM in Huntsville, Alabama. I will tell you that, uh, you know, previously I, I, I've spent an extensive time in the military uh, a number of years ago, retired with 24 years of service, uh, worked for um, a lot of, indirectly a lot of depot, Army depot uh, and DOD depots. Uh, I've seen a lot. Um, when I came down here, I expected to see something very similar to Army depots of, and the manufacturing techniques they used back in the 90s, which were antiquated back <coughs> way back when. Um, I didn't see that. Uh, what I saw was a commercial manufacturing facility that is spot on in their transition to improving and working on their quality production safety. What I'll be doing is engaging our customer at his home station at where he lives and talking to CK, uh, excuse me, to the AMCOM leaders about all the great things that CCAD is doing down here in their safety program, their quality program, their production, and reducing cost as well. And uh, continuing to engage them to uh, bring more business to CCAD. And that does it for this week's edition of CCAT News Around the Depot. I'll leave you with a look at your five-day weather forecast. Until next time, I'm Nicole Placencia. Have a great week.